Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me an email saying that when they use the arrow tool, especially the one with like a fish hook, they can't make the line any thicker. And you can see the fish hook is already thicker than our line. If we take our line and make it a half inch line, it looks perfect. But if you take that line and go be like a one inch line, the line becomes one inch, but the arrow does not. So what you can do in this case, if you wanted it bigger, would be to go up to object, convert it to an outline. I always like watching it in hairline. And now there's an outline, we can, it has nodes and we need to adjust the nodes. So I'm gonna get about half of it, grab all those nodes and start moving it, hold down the control button. Now I'm gonna zoom in and we might not have gone far enough, but we'll see in just a second. Grab these nodes, start moving it and then hold down the control button and you can go as high or whatever you want. Now, because it's an object, we can contour it. So go to effects and contour. We're gonna contour an inch and a half to the outside with rounded corners. That's too much. Let's go, uh, let's just go 0.5. Nope. Tell you what, we do not want rounded corners. We want square corners because we want the arrow to be square. And um, because our other parts round, it'll round it off. Then just go to object, break contour part, get rid of that center one. And now you have a much bigger arrow and you can still play around by moving this up and holding down the control button, making that as long as you like. You can change a lot of things, just kind of look at it, see if it's smooth, it's a little bit, either I missed a node, but you can delete those nodes. Now we messed that up a little bit. So whenever you do that, just take that outside node and delete it. And I would delete some of these nodes that you do not, do not need. And you could play around with these corners and, and do a lot with it, but that would engrave or print if you fill that in with black or whatever color you're gonna use. Now that's one way to do it. The other way to do it would be to use your, under the polygon tool, you have arrows under common shapes and in some versions it'll call, be called basic shapes. Just take an arrow and draw an arrow. And then measure this joint right here. We made it pretty big, but that's okay. 2.86. So now we're going to take a, a rectangle. Let's make it a little thicker. Let's contour. We'll tell you what, let's make it round with this lock. Let's round off the corners. 0.5 won't be enough one inch, that should work. Now let's go and contour to the outside 2.86. See where I'm going with this? Now take our two point line and draw a line there and draw a line there. Let's get our arrow out of the way. Let's take the smart fill tool and fill that in. Let's get that smart fill out of the way, way over here. Take our arrow, put it way over here. Let's take our outline and left click, right click. And then this way you could do whatever you wanted to with it, whatever side. Let's, let's take away the parallel dimension tool. And because we contoured it the same amount, it should snap right to that. Take your virtual segment delete key and delete that. Fill it in with your smart full tool, tool and you have an arrow. Now one thing a lot of you might not realize, you could actually change this arrow because it's got nodes right here. You could make it sharper. Let's set the uh, nudge factor on 0.5. 
let's take this node right here and nudge it up. Nudge that up, you got a totally different arrow. You could actually make it a lot sharper looking to have whatever kind of arrow you wanted. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.